Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout 2. In the previous episode, we found out we're going to have to op- well, not optimize, but to solve this gecko power plant problem in order to continue on into Vault City to figure anything out. Now, as I was saying in the previous episode, I don't think these ghouls are actually bad. I mean, I guess we'll see. Stay away from Vault City, those guys are assholes. See, they're not attacking us. That makes me think they're not that bad. They're just being misunderstood. Um, oh shit on. Ask Wooz to tell you a story. Hey there, smooth skin. Is this Wooz? Are you Wooz? Hate. I am Wooz. What do you want? Booze, Wooz. <laughs> what do you do here? Tell me about this place. Have you ever heard of something called a Guardian Eden Creation Kit? Guardian Eden Creation Kit. You mean the device is included with every vault that is supposed to be used when the people leave the vault in order to reestablish civilization? Yes, that's it. Where can I find one? I just told you that every vault has one. Does this look like a vault to you? Are you dumb? Why are you looking for a gek here? Try a vault. That's... <laughs> hmm. I'll show you dumb. Talking to me like that is dumb. I'm the chosen one, you know. Uh, while I was going to, and I thought you might... Oh, never mind. Goodbye. Where's the nearest vault? Nearest vault? Gee, I don't know. Maybe you could ask the people in Vault City where a vault might be. Vault City's just south of here. You are dumb, aren't you? I knew that. I was just testing you. Gee, woos. You're so smart. Tell me something else. I am not. You're the one that's done. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I run this place. Are you dumb? I sell... J Quit asking me if I'm dumb. Jeez. I sell drinks, trade for things, tell stories, and play tragic. I want to drink. I want to trade. Tell stories. I've got this great story. It's really funny. You see, there's this head, right? A head. Yeah, it's a head, but it's not attached to a body. You see, it's been severed. Severed head, I see. And this becomes entertaining when? Just hold on a minute. The severed head, you see, it's in hell. Ha <laughs> ha. And it flies around there, you know, in hell. And it runs into all kinds of famous people there. Ho ho ho. Wait, a severed head is in hell. And it flies around doing what? Well, it's doing stuff. You know, it's got things that it wants to do, or maybe things it's forced to do. The point is, it's doing stuff. You know, they're in hell. Oh god, I just can't stand it. You kind of obsess over this, don't you? Were you and your mother close? Did you ever have problems with bedwetting? No, you just don't understand. It's all about a severed head, get it? It's funny, how can you think about a severed head in hell of all places and not laugh? Wooz, I don't know you very well and I'm pretty sure I don't want to. However, I think you can say without fear of exaggeration that you need help. Immediate competent help. <laughs> oh, I see. Why, yes, of course. It's very funny. Eh, I just can't contain my amusement, but enough enjoyment. Oh, my splitting sides. I need to ask you something. See, I told you it was funny. Is there anything else you need? I guess I don't need anything right now. Although we might be able to barter some alcohol off of him to sneak into. In fact, I'll check that now. Barter. No. You can't barter alcohol off of him. Booze woos. Uh... No. Okay. Well. What's down here? Hello, weather's been real dry lately. Nothing in here. Okay. Uh, this is the manager's office. Perhaps there's going to be someone of importance. In yeah, it looks like it, too. Hello, what is your name? Hello there, my name's Lenny. How can I help you? What do you do here? Can you provide healing, Lenny? Have you ever heard of a garden? What do you do here? Well, I help Harold mostly. When people get hurt, I help them out. Help Harold do what? Um, administer 
the town. There's always paperwork to do. What else did you say you do? Uh, A Garden of Eden creation kit. I heard that Vault City had one of those. That's the only one I've ever heard of, though. Oh, is this one? I need to find it. Well, I didn't actually meet the Vault Dweller, but I saw them once. You saw the Vault Dweller? Dweller? Where? Long time ago in a place called Necropolis. A lot of us ghouls lived there. One day I saw someone running through the city. Running? Yes, running. You see... Oh, sorry, smack the mic. You see, we goals can't run too much anymore, so I knew it was an outsider when I saw them. They ran past me so close I could have touched them. I wish that I had joined the Vault Dweller. You want to join my grandsire? Yeah, you thought my ancestor would let a fresh, fleshless freak like you do anything with them? Goodbye. Uh, you wanted to join my grandsire? Yeah, I had the chance of a lifetime and blew it. What do you mean? I heard that the Vault Dweller had fixed our water system. The Vault Dweller saved us. All of us, do you understand? It didn't matter what we were that we were goals. For once, it didn't matter. We were people again. Worth saving. The sister was the founder of our tribe. That memory is revered amongst my, my people. Later, I heard that the Vault Dweller destroyed the source of the army. The Vault Dweller saved all of us, human and goal alike. I could have been a part of that, but I locked the cur I lacked the courage, excuse me. I've never forgiven myself. Following in my ancestors' footsteps, would you like another chance? Will you join me? I'm sure that the work you do here among the goals have value and meaning. It's good to hear of my ancestor. Let me ask you something. Cowards deep down inside. Will he join me? I'm happier than a bull from an imposter full of cows. I'd be honored to join you. I may be old and I can't move too darn fast. This way is not far too long, but I can sure patch you up when you need it. I'm glad that you can join me. I'm sure that your healing skills will come in handy. Okay, neat. So we got another party member, Lenny. Hello. Oh, hello. The name's Harold. I help keep this town running. Smooth skin, why do you call me that? Hello, Harold, what did you do here? There's some place I can barter or resupply. Is there a tree growing out of your head? You must know something about the garden. Uh, hello, Harold, what do you do here? <laughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. This place is coming apart? Well, sort of. Our atomic reactors are mind sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but, <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, well, I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, huh? I mean, they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day, I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig walla. <laughs> that sounds bad. Oh, yeah. That would be bad. <laughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but <laughs> we came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for them. Good thing you're here to help them. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd be making things right? Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is gonna be trouble. Uh, what the hell's a hydromagna, whatever the revelator? Um, sounds like a real problem, right? Let me ask you something else. Trouble, what kind of trouble? Well, I've taken enough of your valuable time. Goodbye. Uh, trouble, what kind of trouble? Out of functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator. We are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now that means anyone using that water is not going to need a nightlight to take a midnight piss. Also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> okay. Sounds bad. Where would you get a whatever another? If you don't get the part, who do you buy your fuel from? Sorry to hear it. Let me ask you about something else. Sounds bad. Where would you get a hydro well, thingy? I'm certain those ornery bastards in Vault City have one. Not that they'd share. Hell, 
Even if we had one of those thingies, I'm not so certain Festus could install the dang thing. <laughs> Vault City wouldn't give you the part, even if it means the groundwater wouldn't, won't be polluted anymore? Well, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. <laughs> not much chance of that happening. <laughs> well, well, you may be right. Still, if someone could convince them that they should help you. They shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. Oh, I wonder if someone else could tell them. Yes, it would. Right, now I've got another question. Uh, I wonder if someone else could tell them. We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. Uh, what happens if you don't get the part? <laughs> if we don't get it, you can bet those boneheads from Vault City will shut down our power plant permanently. What will you do then? Take dirt naps. Vault City doesn't play nice. They'll just come up here and kill all of us if we don't get that part. Well, <laughs> at least I'll have a tree for a monument. Well, the name of that part again sounds like you need the... Let me ask you something else right now, though. What you need, youngster? Um... A Garden of Eden creation kit? A gick, right? I seem to remember vaults had those. Don't know where you'd find one today. Thanks, let me ask. Okay, I think that's all I needed to know for right now. Goodbye. Okay, so it looks like we should probably go back to Vault City. Although we could explore here a little bit more if we wanted to. Who are you? What else have we got here? Hello there, my smooth-skinned friend. There's the reactor itself. Um... Is there anyone else I can talk to? Not there. We could try going down here. No. It's the same as every other description. Either of you? What the hell is that? <gasps> A wooden bowl! Neat! Okay, well, I'll try going up here. Maybe we'll get something from that. What the heck? Come on! I should be able to just click somewhere, and then he goes. But no, it has to be apparently within a line of sight or something. Welcome to Gecko. What do we have over here? Survival gear locker. Hello there, Percy Crump here, master merchant in this locality, but you can call me just plain old Percy. Yes, you can. Heck, everyone does. Now, what can I do you for? I was just wondering what's going on here in town. I was wondering if you had anything I could buy or trade for. Why, well, I sure do. Heck, got all kinds of stuff here for the right price I do. Let me see what you have. Okay. Ooh, he does seem to have quite a, a bit of things. No alcohol, though, or any kind of a tool or part. So, I guess not so much. Not so much for us. Oh, not so much for us. Alright, we can try looking somewhere else though. What's in here? Nothing in there. Um... It's a car. Pile of junk, definitely a useless junk, no doubt about it. Scrap metal piece of car. It's junk, 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 junk. Like most things out here in the wasteland. Man, it's a shame I don't have any dog. I don't have a dog, dog meat companion. 
I was gonna say any dog meat, and then I realized how bad that would sound. I'm not eating doggos. Uh, not looking through any of that junk, apparently. What's over here? It's a truck. Apparently nothing of interest. Anything in here? It's a toilet. Nice observation, Daniel. And back here, we have a, an old terminal, it looks. It's broken, though. Oh, there's a, uh, a small, very empty metal shelves. What's down here? Hello? Well, this is interesting. I didn't think this would be down here. We might not be allowed down here, though. Uh, yeah. Under. Gecko. Am I allowed down here? It kind of looks like a vault, to be honest. Or maybe this is the reactor. He wants to see you. Is this the reactor? It honestly looks just like a vault. Well, sort of. It's got similarities. Not exactly, though. The sl his sleekness wishes to see you. His who? Sleekness? This guy? Who's his sleekness? Some kind of talesman around his neck. It might be him. Renewal. Renewal, comrade. I am Zomak. Some call me Zomak the Destroyer. What is your business here? I'm just looking around? You should look somewhere else, or Zomak will show you the stars. Oh. I see. Unusually large mole rat. Okay. Can I go this way? You too can renew. What is all this about? Join us and renew. Hello? Mole rat? To himself. So many things pass away. Times are not what they were. I feel that my sole remaining kin has died mad, though he was. I wish it were not so. I had hoped that he might find happiness even in this dotage to you. Well, enough of my sad musings. Okay. Our atomic reactor needs a part if we have any hope of getting it to run efficiently. Part? What kind of part? Aren't you the concerned citizen all of a sudden? A part? What kind of part? That's the part that you need to get from Vault City, then you need to bring it back and get it installed in the reactor. How can I do that? Just get the thing from Vault City, bring it back to the reactor, then try and convince that pompous slug Festus to install the part, or use the repair bot to install the part. Or you could even install the part yourself, of course, so long as someone does it, we'll be alright. How do I get the part from Vault City? Just show them that it's in their own best interest to do so. People are easily manipulated through self-interest. Okay. They'll give you the... if you can prove that doing so benefits Vault City. Prepared an, an economic report that details just how repairing our power plant benefits Vault City. Let my here and Gecko know of your mission. It's great, but who involved would think of reading such a thing? Think that McClure is the only council member in Vault City with enough brains to be able to see past his prejudices. Prejudices, excuse me. He'll make sure you get what you need. No way, no how am I going to be your message boy? Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Where do I get the disc? 
Go up above to the junkyard. Look for a goal named Gordon. He has the economic data disc that you need. You have my talesman, so he'll know to give you the disc. What talesman? The Ankh is a symbol of life. Once I have given you the talesman, you'll be one of us. And your comrades will be more likely to help you uh, along the path towards renewal. But be careful who you show it to, okay? I'll take your Ankh talesman. I don't want to renew. I like myself just the way I am. I don't want your talesman renewal. What do you mean? Well, as part of my plan to rule the world, I intend to re reward my goal followers by finding a way to restore the humanity. Uh, when I unite Gecko and Vault City under my rulership, I will de dedicate Vault City's medical labs to finding a way to reverse the effects of radiation that turn the people into ghouls. They will be renewed, reborn as human once again. That doesn't sound so bad. You ready to accept renewal and wear my Ankh Talesman? Uh, okay, I'll take your Ankh Talesman. Now you're one of us. Soon I will take over the world and all of you will be renewed. That's it. That's enough. This stops right here. Someone's got to stunt you out of existence and that someone's me. Yeah, whatever you say. But right now, don't you have something to do? I better get on with that atomic power plant thing. Goodbye.